Once upon a 2.6, I looked out amidst the stars, and they swirled, and they danced, and they whispered of things to come, showing us little mysteries when they can. That was long before CIG stopped the stars in their place, and they used to move around. I am at Port Olisar. I am just EVAing over the building, over the A pads, watching people come and go whenever a large green ship comes into sight. I was so excited, so thrilled at the sight. I crushed it. Is this love? And then the sky split with black and red and green yellow light. She hung in the air for a little while. I watched her legs open up and she flew overhead. She came to land so softly on the largest pad on the B side. My stomach turned. My heart pounded so hard I could hear it in my ears. And I knew that in there what love was. It was 2.6, and they said well over 500 SCU. And though we didn't know what SCU meant or was, we squealed with delight. Long and slender, with an ejecting cockpit. That was the gimmick they sold us on so very long ago two turrets and made by the piracy company it was so very exciting now it is 3.22.1 point and they have put out a ship that can haul over 10 thou. It raises the question, what is the use of a ship of this life now? How dare you be so small, you heartbreaking bitch. How dare you be so small, so timid and frail. She's old, older than you know. By my reckoning, though it may be wrong, almost 11 years, almost completely unchanged. Her shape and her design has not been touched not once since the new Drake standard. I can remember when I first saw this ship. I screamed and I hooped and I hollered and my wife said, What the hell is wrong with you? Terribly sorry I've fallen in love. How dare you! Once upon a very long time ago, she used to sing before CIG took that from her. 
Now they're more obsessed with rocket ships and phallic shaped ships than they are with fixing one of the founding ships that built their game for them. This is by request. So we're going to cover it. We're going to take a tour. Talk about what's wrong with this picture. If I can land without breaking my cankles. Hmm. Always wondered, but no, they wouldn't be so kind. We'll start at the front of the ship, work our way down, like we generally try to do. This ship has nine doors across its sides that all open up with their own foot elevators. The problem that I've had with this ship forever is they've never worked on those things and yet there's this mistake. A tenth door on a nine door ship. It's just genius. I've talked about all of this before. And I'm older and wiser now. So I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. We'll start here. They got all the gear and the equipment, but none of the proper controls to be able to extend this in such a manner as it would be accessible. This is considered part of the cargo hold, but I've never seen it that way. The only rover that Drake has ever put out isn't space worthy and won't fit here because it's too big. You got a goddamn cargo ship that requires a forklift, and you build a forklift with wheels. My first, most primary problem with this ship is its complete inability to be anything else. We got a huge cargo date co uh, update coming down the road, just like there was before, and they won't even look at her. To fix her up. I guess this ship that started out being a competitor to the Starfarer has become such an embarrassment that they won't do a goddamn thing for her. It is a waste and it is a shame. I have always believed the nose of the ship where we are right now should be both a docking coupling and the garage where you have your forklifts and that your forklifts should be grab webs so that they can operate on the ground and in space and I've always believed that this should be the only foot elevator with point access into the ship <clears throat> as we move forward I missed it. This is the beginning of a cargo hold that has regularly been shrunken down. Whenever we first had this ship, it was so goddamn big, but it has shrunken around me. 
I've looked at her time and time again, and I know for a fact this is smaller than it was before. Because they, they keep saying it was supposed to be a competitor with the Freelancer, when what was supposed to be a competitor with the Freelancer was the goddamn Cutlass. And they did a good job with that shit. Yeah, it needs to be upgraded to the new model, but... I mean, look at this. A cargo hold. Yay fucking long. Stifled by regular intersecting doors. Because this bitch is supposed to be a pod that you can let go of. I've never heard a stupider idea in my life, especially with the idea of the whole C present. And each and every single one of these cargo holds is the exact same. Sometimes running through here it feels like a bad case of deja vu or perchance just poor thinking. Catwalk looks taller than it ever was. And they made room for footpath. It's a cargo hold with a catwalk. Why in God's name would you ever walk down here? But here's when we start taking to the issues of the ship. This cargo hold should be one large cargo container. All of these doors on the starboard side should be ramps that first extend and then you can lower down for ground vehicles. Should just be one big ramp so that you can load lots of cargo into the space. Without the doors, without the footpath, it would hold so much more. And then, one of the biggest mistakes is door access entry directly into an R&R &R sector of the ship where if you have your helmet off eating food right now you're going to be suffocating no forethought Then we have this mistake, which should not be here and should not be the point of entry into this ship. First of all, the R&R &R sector could be slightly larger. Now look, we've got bunks. Bunk beds. That they shorten down to single beds. And a place where they don't belong. Right here we can fit a medical bay in this small square. And over here the rest of this could be the rest of the R&R &R sector. There could be arcade machines and a little kitchen. But no, that's what we have for a kitchen. A sink, a stove, and no damn counter space. Not even the thought of it. No storage either. So when are you going to be cooking food here? A hull that don't make no damn sense. Two engines when there should only be one. Look at the size of this shit and the ladder where it don't fucking belong. And the number of shit that's where it don't fucking belong. Look at this shit. How's the pilot supposed to aim that if it ain't on the top of the ship? And no, I'm not talking about the gunner. I'm talking about the pilot. A set of stairs, which is a fucking frill, where it don't fucking belong. Stairs are for fancy ships. 
not for cargo haulers. Oh, you're not even going to do it? Yeah, I won't even do it here. Something else entirely. Have you seen the videos of this shit? The tractor beam can't even see into the cargo bay for all the disruption. You have this idea in your head that they should be individual paws that you load up, drop off, and, and pick up with a ship that's capable of picking up 10,000? Who gives a shit? So, as we move into the back, right here, we have data storage, which doesn't fucking belong here it belongs on the bridge that way the captain can keep a fucking eye on it a component where it doesn't belong yet again a ladder where it does not fucking belong multiple doors and hallways this place is a goddamn maze and a fucking mess and then this gimmick. The bridge is supposed to detach from the rest of the ship. And check this shit out. A whole other shitter shower and a dining room and a kitchen where it don't fucking belong. And you got this fucking thing down here. Oh, this is another tractor beam. How lovely. It don't work. Not here. Where, where experimentation should be. And yet again, what can you see into right there? Maybe a little bit of there, but you can't really see into it. All the stupid shit. 11 years old with 11 year old ideas. 11 year old problems. With the amount of space that is in this damn ship, you could have a taller cockpit that can actually see the top of the goddamn ships that landing isn't such a fucking problem. So that you could have two to three turrets on top and it wouldn't be so, so, so much of a problem. There should be no walls or doorways in the cargo bay because then you would be able to have a whole lot more cargo and this ship would actually be able to compete. The cockpit is designed based on the idea of the gimmick. Where the cockpit would eject away from the rest of the ship. Guys, that makes this an escape pod. We're Drake. We don't do that shit. Right here which should be the only main entry point into this ship, should be an airlock. A three-way airlock. If the hatch is open, the interior and the exterior door don't open. If the interior door is open, the hatch and the exterior door don't open. If the exterior door is open, the hatch and the interior door don't open. I mean, it's not fucking complicated. Okay? It's not. It should be the safest route into there's an end of the ship and right here what this should be is a place filled with storage for you to be able to put your spacesuit your weapons away because this is the entry point and high likelihood is is if you're going to have to resist people attacking your ship it's or people trying to board your ship it's going to be in your cargo hold okay this thing was supposed to be the pocket carrier guys a kruger merlin doesn't fucking fit in here. Okay? It's too long. The second you land it, it's going to cause problems and explosions. And here we go down the multi-door bullshit again. 
and this video is by request by the way this right here should be the entry point into this ship but all that you can think of is Corsairs Cutlasses what times do you haven't really touched her not really in seven fucking years don't you think it's fucking time she gets the upgrade that she deserves? A hatch that don't work? Shit where it don't fucking belong? Let's take a long hard look at this, shall we? There used to be a time whenever you'd be flying around she would sing to you. But see, I do took that away. Now she is the least fuel efficient, least capable, one of the smallest cargo ships out there. I, I don't even know how the Starfarer people feel because it's not like their ships have ever been touched either. This thing was a daydream. And now it has become so fucking small. So very small. And whereas I never expected that it would ever be the biggest ship out there forever, the Caterpillar is due her respect. Okay? In my opinion, you need to get rid of these fucking anime engines right here. Streamline these engines on the side. God damn it. Okay. So that they're they're proper and they actually work. Okay. Yeah, and rotate and stuff. She needs to have wings. Just like the Corsair. Except maybe the opposite side. The bridge needs to be wider. Side-by-side -side seating, plenty of visibility. And guys, here soon we're going to have a long conversation about landing cameras. Okay? She deserves better from you. Not one wing with a goddamn strut supporting it. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Struts under the wing. Supporting the wing. It's not even a wing. It's it's a fucking platform for picnics and and fucking tractor beams. Yeah, the, the tractor beams I totally get, but if you can't see into the goddamn cargo hold, what's the fucking point? What is the goddamn point? I mean, you got a railing system right on fucking top. Why isn't the tractor beam there? On its fucking own arm, where it can like extend and maneuver and shit. Now, I, I'm not saying that she needs to be as big as a goddamn javelin. Lord knows we need less of those fucking ships. Way too fucking big. But this was supposed to be our pocket carrier. This was supposed to be our fucking deal. And now she is so small, you have done everything in your power to ensure that she is so small. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Look at her. She is one of a brief handful of ships that built CIG with their sails. You need to think these things through, guys. She don't need to be small. She is supposed to be a competitor with the Starfarer. She needs a bigger cargo bay. She needs personal quarters for four to eight people. She needs three turrets on top. Okay? Drake 
needs to build a forklift that is a sister to the mule that is Gravweb. Why the fuck you would ever go with wheels makes no goddamn sense to me. Gravweb is the thing. Okay, because it works on the ground and it works in space. Why would you do any different? Especially with a forklift in this game. With a full open cargo hold, as opposed to all of the doors and all of the walls. I mean, look at this fucking spacing here. Look at that. That's three SCU each per those strutted areas. Each. Stacked four high. And no, I'm not talking about the inside of the cargo hold. That's five SCU each. I'm talking about... The walls and the doors in between each section of the goddamn cargo hold shrinking it down more and fucking more. She deserves so much fucking more from you. So much fucking more. So much more. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you would like to support my channel, please go on over to my Patreon and become a patron. God bless each and every single one of you. Have fun. Be safe. Take care of each other. Captain Frank Hawks. And I am signing out.